Breathe steadily for a few moments, bringing your awareness into your heart and feeling soothed into a calm and centered space within. Allow your third eye to ease open. In your mind, you find yourself on a path of crushed stones soaked in sunlight at the base of a large, broad mountain with snow-capped crests stretching away into the distance. You sense that this is a powerful place, surging with an ancient and invigorating energy that seems to emanate from the rich earth and deep gray-green rock. You've arrived at Mount Helicon, a famous mountain in mythology. It's here before you, piercing the blue skies of Greece, watching over the surrounding groves of olive trees. You see the gravel trail extends in front of you, up the mountainside, and you move forward along it, knowing something wondrous awaits. Near the sides of the path, you notice clusters of red-capped mushrooms popping up from the soil and see maroon-colored moss growing on the rocks. You begin to feel a warm swirl of grounding energy at the base of your spine as your root chakra is cleared and you become aligned with the frequency of nature itself. You follow the incline into a shady patch with more trees, shrubs, and undergrowth. The air here is sweetened by all the lush foliage. You hear a gentle rustling ahead, and an elegant orange deer steps onto the path and meets your eyes. This deer telepathically communicates its unwavering ability to live in the bountiful current of life to you, and this wisdom balances your sacral chakra below your navel. You thank this noble creature in your mind and it steps away, softly blinking its eyes in acknowledgement. Continuing on, the slope gets noticeably steeper and the greenery thins out. Looking to your right, you're fascinated to see a sunken area where the solid earth has turned into a pool of bubbling yellow mud. As you marvel at the thick, hot froth, a fiery, volcanic energy begins to build in your body. You're instantly connected to the stream of source energy that runs through all creation like a steaming underground river. Feeling exhilarated, you allow the potent atmosphere here to charge up your solar plexus chakra, self-confidence, and willpower. You now encounter a set of carved stone steps that take you higher and higher until you reach a plateau of smooth green rock veined with pink rose quartz. Peering around, you see the plateau stretching off into more forest land to the side while it ends sharply before you in an immense cliff overlooking the misty valley below. The jubilant energy of this vast space goes straight to your heart center, opening it lovingly with a remembrance of the one consciousness that connects all existence. You peek up and see that you will not be climbing farther. The mountainside above forms a steep wall where the rock has curiously been painted with massive blue symbols that somehow seem familiar. Gazing upon these markings, your throat chakra gently tingles and clears, stimulating your capacity to communicate yourself authentically. Looking even higher, you see rolling clouds of fine indigo mist clinging to the snowy peaks. As you peer into the mist, a cool, luxurious breeze plays across your face, filtering out any fear or density held in your third eye. Above all, you spot a silver eagle circling around the very tip of Mount Helicon. It's a majestic bird, surfing the frontiers of this physical world and higher dimensional planes. As it utters a fierce cry, you feel an influx of light cascade through and expand your crown chakra. A wave of sparkling white energy fills your senses and brings you back to where you stand on the plateau of green stone. The wind picks up and a whooshing sound fills your ears as you see Pegasus, the legendary winged horse soaring downwards. Landing before you with a rhythmic clattering of hooves, he gently bows his head to you. 
Admiring his pearlescent hide, mane, and feathered wings, you are both dazzled and soothed by his presence. This resplendent horse is a classical symbol of dynamism, courage, and deliverance. He has met you here today to facilitate you in activating your ability to receive, fully activating your ability to accept the life force energy that is perpetually around you, and to accept the infinite abundance of every kind, which is your birthright as an extension of Source. Pegasus now strikes a hoof upon the rock, and the earth around you begins to rumble wondrously. Perfectly clear water begins to trickle out of the rocks above. It's mesmerizing to watch it run down and down. Gathering into a steady current, the glassy water reaches the plateau where you stand and begins to gush through your body and auric field. The rippling stream feels warm and restorative as it deepens around you. These are the waters of the Hippocrene, the fabled spring said to bring inspiration to those who drink of and swim in it. As the sacred water swells, crests, and rushes through you, you feel a fantastic opening sensation in the back of your heart chakra, between your shoulder blades. This is the most receptive point on the body, where we feel worthy of being the manifestations of source energy we are, worthy of welcoming in and wielding this universe's infinite resources. Whatever you would like more of in your life, health, love, money, spiritual connection, anything, give yourself permission now to completely surrender to the idea of always having as much of it as you need or desire knowing there is infinitely more available to you. Letting the water flow and flow, you allow it to carry away any resistance or doubt that is welling up. You even allow yourself to cry if you need to, indulging in the emotional release. You are equal to all life has to offer. You are safe receiving and thriving in your blessings. The water continues to wash away any blocks to your receptivity, any disbelief, any fear of failure or success. And you are grateful for the deep heart healing that is taking place for you, knowing it is from the heart that we deservingly create the reality we desire. When this healing feels complete, you step out of the warm current of the Hippocrene seeing how its waters cascade off the cliff under a dewy, shimmering rainbow. Tossing his head, Pegasus turns toward the forest that borders the plateau, and you follow him to a hidden clearing in the trees dotted with several pavilions of richly colored silk. Reaching the center of this clearing with Pegasus, you're greeted by a group of nine of the loveliest women you've ever seen elegantly clothed in loose gowns and glowing jewels. Each seems to hold an accessory linked to her identity. These celestial women are the nine mythological muses, and you may ask any of them to help ignite your intuitive receptivity, so you may easily access your all-knowing inner wisdom on any subject you wish. Around you stands Calliope, the muse of epic poetry. She holds a writing tablet and is here to help those wishing to make progress on issues of expression and communication. Cleo, the muse of history. She holds a scroll and is here to help those wishing to release connections to past memories, other timelines, or trauma that no longer serve. Erato, the muse of lyric and love poetry. She holds a lyre and is here to help those wishing to work on friendships or romantic relationships, past, present, or future. Euterpe, the muse of music. She holds a flute and is here to help those who wish to find peace in the day-to-day -day rhythms of their lives, or to establish new, soul-based rhythms to live by. Melpomene, the muse of tragedy. She holds a mask with an anguished face, and is here to help those feeling stuck in lower vibratory states and the illusion of separation consciousness. Thalia, 
the muse of comedy. She holds a gleeful looking mask and is here to help those wishing to discover their authentic passions and bring their unique light to the collective. Polymnia, the muse of sacred poetry and meditation. Her face is contemplative and she rests her elbow on a pillar. She's here to help those who have been feeling disconnected from source or themselves to deeply connect with their power and highest inner divinity. Terpsichore, the muse of dancing and singing. She holds a garland of flowers and is here to support those pursuing creative projects of all kinds aligned with the ideas and impact they seek. And Urania, the muse of astronomy. She holds a globe and is here to help those wishing to strengthen their psychic abilities and communicate clearly with other forms of consciousness. The muse you wish to work with at this time knowingly steps forward. She leads you to a stool under the silk canopy belonging to her, where you sit, close your eyes, and intend to remain open as the muse holds space for a transmission of guidance and insight directly from source specific to your needs at this time. The air softly electrifies, and you allow yourself to feel replenished, cherished, and strengthened. You are safe to relinquish anything burdensome you no longer wish to carry. You are safe to explore new concepts and aspects of yourself, safe to innovate or grow in any way. Notice any images or colors that appear in your mind's eye. Any ideas, emotions, or physical sensations washing over you. Ask any questions you have, and fully trust the automatic answers of your open heart. Know that you are receiving the guidance you require and making all the right shifts in your evolution at this time. And be assured that encouraging signs will be available to you in dreams and synchronicities over the next few days. Feeling the healing frequencies slowly taper off, you open your eyes, stand, and rejoin Pegasus and the group of other muses. You thank them all for welcoming you here, and you know that you may come back anytime to wash your receptive abilities clean in the hippocrine, to rinse stifling vibrations from your heart, and to invoke the aid and clarity offered by the muses. Feeling recharged and blissful, you leave the clearing now, walking through trees to the plateau, down the stone stairway, back to the gravel path that leads all the way down the mountain. Almost as if you floated there, you find yourself back on the ground, at the head of the trail. Sink your feet deeply into the earth below you. Feel your energy expand downwards through the soil and rock below. Breathe and intend to ground yourself until you're ready to regain perfect awareness of your body and physical surroundings. <laughs> 